YouTube. Well, we're gonna make our cover for the wagon. I got my house coal and I got a ton and a half sitting on here. Let me get you off the stand here for a second. And this is what they call lump coal. Some people call it nut coal, but um, it's a washed coal. Um, it is the bituminous coal, which is the dirty coal. I don't have a furnace for anthracite. So I'm gonna show you how I make a cover over top of my wagon here. It's a dump trailer. So we'll get you clipped back in here. And what I had done a few years back, basically two pieces of wood, and I made hoops. And when you laminate these together, they make a very strong um, structure. So I had made a couple holes in each side. And when you put some weight on these things, they, they'll hold a ton of weight. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, I got everything pre-numbered. Everything just clips in. And there we go. Then on top of that, we put these uh, rails. So and the middle one's longer because it's going to hold the tarp all the way up. So, here we go. And with a couple screws, let the magic happen. I'm gonna put a couple at the end here just to hold these down because this will try to come loose when I pull down on it. So we're getting there. We'll start with the center one. And again, everything is a few years old. And you know anybody has a sawmill that can get me some more wood? Okay. It's really simple. So if you have a dump trailer and you want to store stuff and keep it dry, this is just perfect. In fact, I think I'm going to turn this one around, split out on the back end here. Let's just turn it around. Get one more year out of it. Perfect. There we go. Now we're gonna to go to the other side of the trailer. I think you're in camera there. Might be a little crooked, but you'll be all right. So, straighten that hoop up. And just sort of, sort of just center them in there. make a heck of a roof really quick out of a bunch of junk and the center one's longer to keep the tarp out a little bit further 
and this hoop's a little bit bent, but we'll we'll try to pull it a little bit. Not liking that. Oh, we'll get it out. We'll get her to work. Sometimes you gotta fight things. Perfect. Okay. Then, what we're gonna do is reach in as far as we can. You don't really need to center one fasten on these other two. Just want to keep it from rolling over. Make this a little bit straighter. Looks good. camera back where you can see we're almost there and I got the exact amount of screws I don't know how I do it every time I reach in and get a handful I have just enough Now, we're going to cover this whole thing with the tarp. And basically just some blue tarp. I've used this for a couple years. Not sure which direction it goes. We'll figure it out here in a second. Should have marked it. <laughs> well, let's see here. I'm gonna take it out and just lay it out in the yard here. There we go. And, as you can see, we're just about there. And you want it to come down, let's see where the original ones were. I think I got it maybe backwards, but we'll be all right. Good enough. And, And 
and I have these big wooden strips made up. And these will hold it down so that it don't blow off. And what we'll do is get one side fastened down, we'll go to the other side, stretch it tight. Okay, we're almost there everybody. So basically, just gonna run these uh, do about every other screw just to get it nice and tight. to the other side of the camera here. And in real time here, what are we at? 11 minutes. And we almost got a enclosed trailer. So here's the part you wanna just a little bit of tension on that tarp. This is about as redneck as you're gonna get as far as a portable shed. And here's the result of our efforts here. So, roll this back up. And there you go. You basically got a nice, dry storage area for your coal. So, that'll keep it snow free, it'll keep it from freezing up into a big block of ice and uh, hope you found that interesting and helpful so if you have a dump trailer and you want to make a quick easy hoop a couple pieces of wood a tarp a couple screws and you got a watertight storage area for your product for the winter time and um, i will catch you on the next one hope you enjoyed please like please subscribe and i'll talk to you on the next one bye bye